Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. Uh, now, in today's uh, video, I will be discussing the basic difference between class and structure. Now, I have noticed uh, many of, you know, when I am taking any offline class or whether I have taught online, uh, I have asked many of the students regarding what is the basic difference of class and structure. Uh, I'm talking about uh, difference of class and structure in C++ programming. Now, many of uh, them come with some certain different answers, like uh, they say uh, that if I'm just differentiating between class and structure, they say uh, classes are by default private and structures are by default public, which is absolutely right. A uh, second difference that they quote are that classes contains uh, data members and member functions only, but structures cannot contain member function. So in structures, member function is not present. They say that uh, you can write public, protected and private in classes but in structures you cannot write them okay i was taking various options they were also saying that uh, in classes inheritance is possible and in structures inheritance is not possible guys uh, it's a very important thing that you should know uh, that we are talking about c++ programming it means we are dealing with dot cpp file now what are the wrong things that i have basically noticed that this is definitely possible in data members and member function but if member functions are not present in structure it's absolutely wrong we can use that um, data members as well as member functions also we can also use a public protected as well as private in structures also and inheritance is also possible in structure why because we are using the concept of cpp so uh, in this video you will be getting the insight of what is the actual difference between class and structure in this i will implement any class and i will be replacing that with the struct keyword and i will make sure that it works and even i can say that constructors also work in classes they also work in structures also so there is only one difference i will quote so let me show you that if i have to differentiate class and structure there is only one difference i will take i'm talking about again i'm talking about c++ programming so there is only one difference between structure and class and that is the by default access specifier classes are by default private and structures are by default public means if i don't write anything in structure the struct keyword by default uh, it will take it as a public access specifier and you can access them outside the structure without any issues but in classes if i don't write anything in, inside it if i don't write either public protected private they are treated as private and you cannot access anything outside the class other than that i see there is no difference i can clearly say that if class is an example of encapsulation and in uh, you treating encapsulation as collection of data members and member functions so is structure also this is the only difference between class and structure you can use data members as well as member functions data members and member functions can be used public protected private can be used in both of them and as well as if i have to do any inheritance it is also something which is definitely possible in structure screen so i'm basically writing a program where i'm writing i have to just write io stream hash include
onion.h i can use class i'm just using a class student i'm creating a class i can write in role uh float pgpa right i use a public keyword spec access specifier i'm using void get i get the data of student the with c in operator pgpa and i'm displaying the data uh, of both values or whatever we have taken right so this is a basic definition of class which i have used and uh, in uh, main i am basically using i'm declaring the object of the class i'm giving memory allocation to class so i'm writing student dot uh, student space obj now student is your data type obj is your uh, variable or it can be referred as uh, object it can be referred as instance of the class so i am declare uh, i am using the i because i see the thing is uh, public uh, public access specifier has two functions which is get and put uh, get and display and since i have not declared anything on role number and cgpa it means they are private access specifiers i cannot use them directly outside the class it will give me error so i'm uh, using object dot display object dot uh, okay so i i'll firstly uh, get the values and i display the result right so that's about it uh, this is class versus structure now if i try to run this particular program so it will ask me the role number okay so it is saying that uh, c in is not declared c in uh, the reason why it is giving me this error because i have not uh, declared io stream properly so i have to use the concept of namespace std semicolon so i try to execute this program again so it will execute obviously it is asking for i will just write one line uh, so that you can get this thing properly see out get the values right so now it will execute again i'm just writing get the values i'm taking 12 as a roll number and 2.3 as a cgpa it is displaying 12 and 2.3 it is we might be seeing as 1 2 2.3 but it is 12 and space 2.3 so if i have to use a space i would rather use the concept of endl so that it is separated with next line and it will display the certain values that you are taking let's say i'm taking 12 and 2.3 it will display 12 and 2.3 that's what it has done so guys uh, what is the difference between class and structure the difference is that i have used public keyword in your class uh, and that is accessible outside the class but if i struct and try to run this particular program i'm just replacing class with struct it's working absolutely fine it is taking 12 and it is taking 2.3 it is displaying that just see i have just used the word struct in place of class absolutely working fine so we can use public protected uh, private in structure also second thing is that whether inheritance is possible in structure or not definitely it is possible Uh, whether use of constructor is possible in structure or not definitely it is possible so if i have to use the concept of inheritance in this particular structure so i can use the concept i can take any other any class apart from the student which is inheriting from this like say i'm writing the uh, struct student 1 a student 1 public student it means i am inheriting uh, all the features all obviously the public uh, 
obviously because i have used a public keyword in accessing that particular class so it means all public of student will go to uh, all public of student one fine so i am basically using it so i just want to basically just test whether it is working or not it means whether inheritance so just i have to use student of one and and then i want to uh, use that particular function so let's see clearly just see this particular scenario i have inherited student one from student it means public of student 1 goes in public of uh, public of student goes to public of student 1 it means get and display get into the public section of student 1 and i'm just writing student 1 obj it means i'm using the right structure variable i'm using that and i'm using those things to access get and display of student 1 which has inherited the features of student so it means a structure can inherit we can use public protected private in structure and importantly guys uh, we can also use the concept of uh, you know constructor in in this particular scenario uh, how constructor is uh, called you can just write student and uh, you declare a variable and you right see out i am constructor so it won't be a problem or this is a structure of this uh, constructor of this and this is the constructor of student 1 so the moment you declare student 1 by default it will display i am a constructor so this is how you actually can work out just a minute i am accessing the values again i am running the program again just place and yes we are asking for the certain values to be executed the important thing in this particular video you should understand is yeah uh, so we have a structure can have member functions structure can be you inherited also if you are using cpp uh, structures uh, we can use constructors also and we can also use the concept of public protected private so guys uh, what is actually the difference the difference is by default access specifier let me share that with you by default access specifier so if you can see in this particular program if i have not given them any you know any value so forget about the constructors that uh, we are using or forget about the inheritance that was done inside this particular structure so i am just using uh, student uh, struct student and all the values i am accessing guys i have not given any uh, public to roll number and cgpa i can still get them how i just need to use them accordingly i can just take the value of obj uh, dot roll and it can take 45 and obj dot cgpa is 2.3 i can easily display them so roll number is 45 and cgpa is 2.3 by default you can display them obviously you have to use it very properly and now you can try to see see of what Four, forty-five, and two point three. They are getting displayed, but uh, again, we have not declared any public in structure. By default, it is working. But if I use the keyword class, can I use anything? See, 
in class i have used public with void get and display but did i use public with the roll number and cgpa no so it clearly means that you know you try to run this particular part clearly the error that you are getting is cgpa is private or roll number is private and private things cannot be run outside the classes but in structures if they are not declared by default they are public right so this is a very important point uh, that i wanted to convey in this whole particular part that uh, there is a difference that one difference is there and one difference is class and structure this is this is private and this is actually public that's it there is no other difference if we are talking about c++ in the classes and structures so the difference is the only access specifier access specifier for class uh, by default is private okay so i discussed regarding uh, the classes and structure difference uh, as you can see in this particular code there is only one difference that class and structure as the difference is classes are by default private and structures are by default public we can use inheritance inside the structures we can use public protected private inside the structures we can also use even constructors inside the structure so you can see in this particular code as i scroll down so we have public keyword uh, we uh, we have uh, two data members right then we have public as a keyword then we have uh, two functions where we are accessing the values of roll number and cgpa so we are using member functions in the structure so that's what we can do uh, then we have a structure student one who is inheriting publicly from student it means whatever public uh, member functions of get and display they go in public section of student uh, one structure and we are basically using student1 obj and we are student1 obj means derived class object we are creating and by default if we execute this particular part it will access the get function and display function which are inherited in student1 so they are getting the value 23 3.5 it is displaying 23 and 3.5 and this is how uh, your structures behave and uh, again uh, with classes uh, there is only one difference classes are by default private and structures are by default public so you can also use constructors inside the structures like i can use student and uh, uh, i can write see out i am base structure means base uh, base class or we can uh, define uh, it as base structure the same thing i can uh, do with the student one also uh, over here student one constructor would get executed first so i am just writing student one and derive so if if i can execute it you can clearly see over here i am base class uh, then uh, derived class uh, constructor uh, derived structure is executed first base class and then derived class and then it is asking for getting the values which are 23 and 3.5 that will it will display so again when any order of execution happens for structures also the base class structure gets executed first then derived class structure and whatever the functions of derived class structure so everything is possible constructor is possible inside structure uh, structures are by default public so you can use data members inside it and as well as member functions along with that inheritance is also possible public protected private keywords are also possible so as you can see in this particular mm, execution of it so thank you uh, i will be putting this code in the description box with a particular link so you can download it and try it out so kindly like share and subscribe uh, thank you very very much